Alrighty guys, happy Tuesday to you. Um, after watching the film, um, it's another week of playing really, a really, really talented offense. Um, you know, looking at this team and what they do offensively, you're looking at a bunch that, you know, was putting up 48 points a game and, and basically 500 yards a game. Extremely well coached. That's what you expect from a Coach Peterson team. Um, he's done it uh, year in and year out, no matter where he's been. This is a different team than kind of what we've faced in the past five weeks. You know, we've faced some really good run teams like in Arizona and Oregon, and then some really good passing teams like a Cal. Um, and then all of a sudden, we're coming up against a team that's extremely balanced. And you think of this team, you, the first thing that jumps out at you is Jake Browning. But when, when you actually look at everything, they're actually a run-first football team. They lead our league in rushing with 231 yards a game. Um, and and really, when you look at the pass numbers, Jake's throwing it about 25 times a game. So they are run-first and then have tremendous balance and, and explosion fronts, uh, explosion passes down the field. I've been really impressed with Gaskin. Uh, uh, kids averaging 6.3 a carry, and one of the more patient runners that we've seen. Um, the maturity to his game um, is very impressive. He, he reminds you of a Le'Veon Bell with kind of how he bounces in and out of holes and is extremely patient waiting for blocks to happen. Um, obviously, the quarterback is elite. Um, touchdown interception ratio off the charts, 34 touchdowns, only three interceptions, um, and does a tremendous job of doing the three things I think a, a great quarterback has to do, decision making timing and accuracy and he has all those he's got some great weapons on the outside obviously uh, with Ross and uh, Dante Pettis um, also those two kids are really great returners in the return game you know Pettis wins the Utah game uh, late there um, uh, so we've got our hands full there they are really two of the more explosive kids that we've gone up against probably since Ridley and both combined for over 15 yards a catch, um, uh, both of them. So really impressive kids. Defensively, uh, without question, one of the better defenses that we'll go against uh, in, in our league. You know, the thing that jumps out at you right out when you go from game to game to game is they're only giving up 17 points a game, and that and that's uh, is tops in our league. Uh, really have been impressed with their secondary from the two corners in Jones and, and King and the, and the nickel safety and Buda Baker. You're talking about three NFL players. Got three big people in, in front, uh, three kids that are uh, 320 pounds plus in Qualls gains in, in Vea. So uh, we've got our hands full on the front. And then, you know, they really keep keep doing a great job of keeping those three big kids, keeping the, our D-line or off the linebackers, our offensive line off the linebackers. They uh, um, really are pluggers that allow Victor and Vieira to do a great job of tackling. That's one of the reasons they lead in tackles. Injury-wise, um, Stevie, uh, you saw him held out today for that strained uh, PCL, hoping to get him later in the week. We held Biggie Marshall today for a hamstring. Lockett continues to have the hip injury. Uh, hasn't really progressed much. We'll see how that is in later in the week. Uh, Mike Hutchings went today. Strained calf is help holding up. We're trying to protect him. Um, Justin Davis got some work today. He's progressing. And then said where dressed today got very limited action. Uh, it's progressing, but uh, not ready to practice yet. Uh, and uh, Damian Mama, we held out for a little bit of a sore knee. Hopefully we'll get him back uh, tomorrow. Uh, with that, I'll answer any questions that you get. Justin said he approached you and kind of talked about didn't want to take away from Rojo while he was doing well. What, what did he say? No, we visited. He, you know, he's uh, we visited and just basically got a plan of, you know, one, where he's at with his injury and just being really honest. He's one of the most competitive people that I've ever been around. And the work that he's put out the last three weeks to try to get back is exemplary. Um, I just told him, I said, we've got to be, we got to be realistic with this and make sure that as we go through the week that you're honest of, hey, coach, this is where I'm at. If I trust it, let's go. If I don't trust it, then we're not going to play. But in either case, he's just not in a, in a, in a spot where he's ready to go carry 25 carries in a game. So, you know, to be able to carry that load, I mean, the ideal thing would be, oh, gosh, he's healthy, and, and Rojo's able to get the 25 touches. Maybe he can come in and help us with 10 to 15 touches. Um, that would be great for this week. I mean, that's what we hope. But we'll have to see. You saw Dominic get a lot of work today, and we'll see how he progresses through the week. What is the story about the barking dogs that you guys were um, you know, we try to get as many noises that they're going to hear uh, throughout the throughout the week at the stadium. Um, you 
remember we played Oregon State and you heard the, the buzz saw, the chainsaw come out. Um, well, we're, we're actually, any noises that you get, you heard the siren, their air raid siren. So we try to get as many noises that they can get accustomed to uh, it, when they go to uh, visit your opponent's stadium. So they actually do that there? They they've, they've got some barking going to it. From they what I hear. Can they do that? They can't do it while the ball is live? Or no, play. no, do they it? can't they do, do it while it's live. It's just crowd noise, and, and then afterwards they can do the barking dogs and the, and the sirens. But I want them to be as comfortable as humanly possible with everything that's going to be. So you had everything from having to work 15 minutes with nothing but a soaked ball today, uh, just in case it pours rain. Um, uh, it, we're trying to get them comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, when If you put them in adverse situations all through the week, hopefully when you hit Saturday, it becomes easy. So if it's over the top now, let it be. So Saturday's a lot easier. Did you address the team about the importance of voting? Say that. Did you address the team about the importance of voting? No, we, we just basically, it's the choice of each and every kid. Um, and just, uh, I know that's a national topic. I'm so glad that, you know, we have the right to vote and, and their choice to vote um, and, and given the opportunity we let our kids the freedom to go out and do that we had or some of our staff be able to go out and do it also but did not address it either. what do you think are some of the keys to getting the team to play like they do at the coliseum away from the coliseum um, you know, I, I hope we take the approach that we've taken really in the last two games. I, I thought we played a good game at Utah and came up short. I thought we played an a, a even better game at Arizona and kind of took a road mentality uh, into, into both those games that not everything's going to be perfect and your primary focus has to be on your job, not uh, the fans, not the weather, not the noises that are around you, not the maybe a chippiness of a, of a football team. Um, it's something that you've got to concentrate trade on your job and your job alone um, and I thought they did that at Utah and I thought they did that exceptionally at Arizona now it's our time to do it up in Washington is this it's a high ranked team um, some people are saying people back at the office this is like the biggest game of your career is this a time or a chance for your team to show the world what they can do um, we're going to take the same approach. Uh, not one thing is going to change for us. It's the next game. I think we're any time that you hit a, a little bit of a win streak like we're on in five games, we've approached each game like a playoff game, like a championship game. The fact of the matter is, and the reality is, we put ourselves in a hole. We were 0-2, and we knew the reality that we had to go and try to win out. And to be able to do that, you better focus on each and every game. So why last week was the most important game, and I loved how the kids came out and played that way right from the start um, and that's going to be important this game because this is probably one of the best start fast teams that we play you know, go look at their first quarter numbers and they're absolutely killing people uh, as far as the way they start um, so it's going to be important for us to do the same thing like we've been done at home I think the last two weeks we've really started the game well uh, we need to do that again don't change do you sit down with uh, with Zach going home means so much to him he hasn't really been kind of have a conversation about I, that? You know, I haven't done that yet, Dan. Um, you know, it's something that um, um, I'm hoping that, uh, and we will we'll talk about it, but, you know, being a fifth-year kid, and, and, he, and he's been there before, um, you know, it's, it's something that uh, um, he's approached uh, every game like a pro, um, and he knows down the stretch how each game is important. I really have appreciated how he's played the last two games coming back off injury, um, his focus and really to propel this team. He's one of the big reasons as well as the rest of the line that we're having this success. And the big men have been doing an exceptional job, and he's one of them. Did you get Noah Jefferson back yet? Uh, no, no, Joe, Noah's not in a point yet where he's ready to come back. So working out uh, personal issues, concentrating on academics, and uh, um, when he's ready, he's ready. Whether that's you know next week or, or next season, uh, we're going to give him his time to get everything accomplished. Anything else for coach? All righty, guys. Thank you so Thanks, much. Coach.